Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we learn our sixth term first science unit four, the living world of plants lesson. Let book by answer fill away. Pakla okay. First one choose the appropriate answer. First one. Pond is own example of dash ecosystem. You four option could take angma. Which answer correct? Answer B. Fresh water. Next second one. The important functions of stomata is dash. Answer B. Transpiration. Next third one. Organ of absorption is dash. Answer A. Root. Next fourth one. The habitat of water hyacinth is answer A. Aquatic. Next, second Roman fill in the blanks. First one, earth surface is covered by dash percentage of water. Answer, more than 70 percentage. Second one, the driest places on earth are dash. Answer, deserts. Next, third one, fixation and absorption are the main functions of dash. Answer, root. Next, fourth one, primary organs of photosynthesis are dash. Answer leaves. Next fifth one. Tap root system is present in das plants. Answer dicotyledonous. Next third Roman. State true or false. If false give the correct statement. First one. Plants give, can live without water. Answer false. Correct statement. Plants cannot live without water. Next second one. All plants have chlorophyll. Answer true. Third one. Plants have three parts. The root, the stem and the leaves. Answer false. Correct statement. Plants have several parts such as the root, the stem, leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds. Next fourth one. Mountain is an example for freshwater habitat. Answer false. Correct statement. Mountain is an example for terrestrial habitat. Next Fifth one, root is modified into spines. Answer false. Correct statement, leaves are modified into spines. Next, sixth one, green plants need sunlight. Answer true. Next, match the following. Okay, question, the answer mark panir kama, paklama. Okay, first mountain. Answer, the Himalayas. Second one, desert. Answer, C, dry place. Third one, stem. Answer, B, branches. Fourth one, photosynthesis. Answer, E, leaves. Fifth one, fibrous root. Answer, A, monocot. That is the answer. Next, fifth one, arrange the following in correct sequence. First one, leaves, stem, root, flower. Answer, root, stem, leaves, flower. Next, second one, transpiration, conduction, absorption, fixation. Answer, fixation, absorption, conduction, transpiration. In the order, the correct, in the correct sequence, the right one. Next, very short answer. First one, classify the plants on the basis of their habitats. Answer, the two major habitats. First one, aquatic habitat, terrestrial habitat. Aquatic habitat classified into two. They are fresh water habitat, marine water habitat, terrestrial habitat classified into three forest habitat, grassland habitat, desert habitat. Okay, next. Second one, mention few desert plain, plants. Answer desert plants, cactus, agave, olive, priophyllum. Next, third one. Define the term habitat. Answer. Each and every organism need a place to live and reproduce. Such a dwelling place is called habitat. Next, fourth one. Relate the terms leaves and photosynthesis. Answer. The green leaves are essential for preparing food because it contains green pigment called chlorophyll. The preparation of food is known as photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is essential for plant growth. Next, answer briefly. First one, why do you we call jasmine plant a twiner? Answer, jasmine plant has weak stem. It cannot stand straight on its own. It must climb on any support to survive. So, jasmine plant is called as twiner.
Next, second question. Compare the taproot and fibrous root system. Answer Paklama. Taproot system. It, first one, it consists of a single root. Fibrous root system, it consists of a cluster root. Second point, it grows straight down into the ground. Lateral roots arise from the tap root. Cluster of roots arising from the base of the stem. They are thin and uniform in size. Third point, seen in dicotyledonous plants, seen in monocotyledonous plants. Example, mango, neem. Example, Grass baddy. Next, third question. Distinguish between terrestrial and aquatic habitats. Okay. Answer. Terrestrial habitat. First point. They are found on land. Aquatic habitat. They are found in water. Second point. They include desert, grassland, forest, farms, towns and cities. They include the areas permanently as well as occasionally covered by water. Next, third point, they are classified into three types such as desert habitat, grassland habitat and forest habitat. They are classified into two types such as freshwater habitat and marine water habitat. Example, evergreen forest, savanna grassland, cactus. Example, lily, lotus, marine algae, sea grasses. Next, fourth one, list out the plants present in your school garden. Answer. Mango tree, neem tree, water lily, hibiscus, rose, aloe vera, tulashi. Next, eighth Roman answer in detail. First one, make a list of the functions of root and stem. Answer, functions of root. The root fixes the plant to the soil. Absorbs water and minerals from the soil. Some plants like carrot and beetroot store food in root. Next, functions of stem. The stem support the branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. Transports water and minerals from roots to upper aerial plant, parts of the plant. Next, transports the prepared food from leaves to other parts through stem. Stores food as in the case of sugar can. Next, complete the map by filling the plants. Map habitat aquatic terrestrial aquatic fresh water marine terrestrial grassland two types okay va next inga fresh water river again two types nama fill pananom paakalama idoda answer okay habitat aquatic terrestrial aquatic fresh water marine water terrestrial which Answer correct. Desert forest. Grassland already put in. Fill in the desert forest. Next, fresh water la river. We are filling bond lakes. Bond lakes. We fill in the Okay, students, in the video, you will be useful. Subscribe, like, share. Thank you to all.